All right, and welcome everyone to our next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's episode, benchmark 10.1, the sine, angle, addition, and subtraction formulas. Uh, so here we have to uh, use the angle sum or addition formula to evaluate the exact value below. So sine of 7 pi over 6 plus pi over 4. Now I've written the uh, angle addition for sine. Uh, the angle of sine A plus B is the equivalent of the sine of A cosine of B plus or minus the cosine of A sine of B. We can't just take the sine of the 7 pi over 6 and sine of pi over 4 and add them. It won't, won't work that way. I also set up my special triangles here because I will need uh, them for their reference angles. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, write uh, or actually plug into my formula. This is going to be A and this is going to be B. So I'll have the sine of 7 pi over 6 cosine pi over 4 plus, since I'm adding here, cosine of 7 pi over 6 times the sine of pi over 4. Uh, next comes the actual value. So 7 pi over 6. My reference angle is pi over 6, uh, which is a 30 degree. So the sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 half. However, 7 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3, where your sine is negative. So I'll have negative 1 half times the cosine of pi over 4, which is the 45. Uh, so cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. That's 1 over square root 2, which is square root 2 over 2 plus the cosine of 7 pi over 6, now that's the adjacent and hypotenuse, so square root 3 over 2. But again, uh, that's for the reference angle pi over 6. 7 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3, where cosine is negative. And then the sine of pi over 4, opposite over hypotenuse, square root 2 over 2. Uh, now, multiplying those, I have negative square root 2 over 4 plus negative square root 6 over 4, which will equal negative square root of 2 minus square root 6 all over 4. Now, that would be my answer. Uh, an alternate answer might be negative and then square root 2 plus square root 6 over 4 that way. Since uh, both of these have negative, we can actual, actually factor out a negative and uh, then have square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4, but one fraction. And there's our answer. And uh, the only difference if this were a subtraction problem is the plus sign would change to a minus. And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.